It's been a while. Time for a new episode of The Running News. Hey cats, thanks for joining us here on the channel, it's always appreciated. The Running News is a series where I put together some of the best running related stories that I've found over the past couple of weeks. There's some shoe news, there's some horse related stuff. It's a big, big show. Probably one of the biggest shows that I've ever done. Maybe. If you haven't done so yet, help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell below for notifications when we launch the new videos for you. You can also help the channel out by giving this video a thumbs up like and sharing the video with your running buddies. If you've got a question you want to ask me or we just want to support the channel on an ad hoc basis, hit that super thanks button. It's much appreciated. Story 1. Man versus Horse. So there was a recent race in Wales where men and women take on horses it's like a trail race i think the horses actually go on a slightly different route but they cover the same distance uh, in terms of what i'm aware about the race it's been won by a human this year for only the third time ever ricky lightfoot no joke there that's his name one in a time of two hours 22 minutes and 23 seconds and he scoops the three thousand five hundred pound cash prize sounds like saying off strike it lucky or something he finished in pole position of the 22.5 mile race so it's about 36 kilometers total so it's a trail race horses run a slightly different route to the other competitors i think there was about 50 horses took part they're obviously like guided by humans they don't just run themselves that would be quite something wouldn't it? i think those speedy steeds have only been beaten back in 2004 and 2007 lightfoot beat all of the other 1000 running competitors to that pole position and he'd actually traveled a really long distance over a huge amount of time to actually get there i think he'd left like tenerife at 6 a.m the previous day and then got to manchester airport and had to navigate across you know to where the race was in wales i think he got there at like 9 a.m on the saturday ready to start the race at 11 a.m i think that makes the feat all the more spectacular don't you i think i'll be exhausted i'd want a good day or so just to get over the traveling i'll put some info on the race in the description of the video in case you want to take part next year it's not many people that can say they've pitted themselves against a horse in a race is there if you're a fan of those type of trail races it starts on tarmac i think there's some more land and some hills so it's going to be testing story two puma have launched a female only running shoe this one's called the run xx nitro it's been constructed using a special foot model so normally you have a last which is kind of like the shape of the foot that they use to actually shape the upper and actually design the shoe but this one's been built for women specifically normally they just use like a unisex or male last and then just reduce it in size so this one's actually specifically made for ladies so by all accounts the fit of the shoe will be a touch narrower and it should provide a more foot hugging ride in the heel arch and the instep there's some significant stability measures here on the shoe as you can see on the lateral medial side around the heel i think it's quite a high density firm rim that centers the foot on top of that nitro midsole i think it's the standard nitro stuff here not the elite or anything like that and at 105 pounds you wouldn't expect the elite foam but it's still gonna be a nice soft and energy filled ride I think that lower price could make it a really nice cushion daily shoe, perhaps one that you can utilise for some longer efforts. Nitro foam is just really versatile, it just seems to work for loads of different run types. Looks like a somewhat more low profile Adidas Adi star here. There's almost like a Hoka style outsole to it as well, almost like a ski. Intriguing stuff from the big cat. They always seem to be doing something a little bit different. If you're going to test out the Puma Run XX Nitro, let me know down in the comments. Where did that come from? Story 3. Nike is set to launch an odd shoe via their sneakers app. This one comes out on the 30th of June, the Nike Spark Flyknit. I love a Flyknit shoe. Who doesn't, hey? Somewhat interesting shoe in the platinum tint and coconut milk colorway has a number of features that I see Nike exploiting in their running shoe lineup in the coming months. There's a plastic plate which is sandwiched between a firmer foam along with a softer foam underfoot. There's two different forms of Flyknit here, count them, two. I think it's quite similar to the implementation that we've seen of knit based materials in the Alpha Fly Next Percent 2 and also in the Zoom Fly 4. I think the midsole profile here is very close to the soon to be released Nike Zoom Fly 5. We've got these sections that look like they're supposed to be cut out of the midsole. 
Well, they've actually done it here. It's a way for the swoosh to show off that nylon plate in the midsole unit, and it kind of replicates Nike's obsession with showing off their air units. I mean, the Air Max one is fantastic. I can always remember seeing that in a shop, thinking, that is so cool. Now you can actually see what's inside the midsole. It's having a similar effect on me here, looking at the Spark Flyknit. Is this a lifestyle shoe? Is it a running shoe? I'm still not entirely sure. All Nike's write-up that is with the shoe on the sneakers app suggests it's to help propel you forward. So, I don't know. You kind of do that when you walk though, don't you? At 165 Earth credits, it's a gamble that I'm not really prepared to take right now, especially with that Zoom Fly 5 coming out very soon. It almost looks a little bit like a lifestyle version of the Zoom Fly 5. This is a very futuristic shoe though, nonetheless, so I'd be quite keen to see if anyone's thinking about picking it up and seeing some more reviews on it online. Interesting. Story four. If you fancy picking up an Alpha Fly Next Percent 2, then the reseller market might be the only way you can get one for the time being. It does appear that some people are attempting to make a quick buck on the newly released Marathon Race shoe from Nike. There's some very large asks here, up to £1,500 for a UK size 14. And there's about 55 pairs currently up on StockX at the time of recording this video. Though you'll be pleased to know that there aren't many sales at all. I'd imagine there's probably a couple of American YouTubers that are thinking about picking up a pair from StockX and paying over the odds. If they want to do that, that's absolutely fine. But I think paying, you know, upwards of £400 to get a pair when you're probably going to be able to grab a normal release of them very soon is a bit crazy. But people got to do with their money what they got to do, right? The highest sale I've seen so far is about £409 for a US 11. So they aren't flying off the StockX virtual shelves by any means. I think future availability is pretty assured on the Alpha Fly Next Percent 2. You know there's going to be a whole gamut of different colours coming very soon. And of course, lots of people are holding off because they've got brand new pairs of the recently discounted Alpha Fly Next Percent to use up. I did see some sad stories of a few UK runners picking up pairs on some of the actual retail sites. I think Sports Shoes and perhaps Pro Direct Running had some. I think some people had their orders cancelled or delayed. Some people had used codes and that seemed to pretty much cancel their order. It's always sad to see stuff like that happen. I know a lot of these websites only get a small number of the shoes to sell, only a few pairs in select sizes, but I hope those of you who did get lucky and managed to get a pair do get them very, very soon so you can get them on foot and enjoy them. I will say it is very odd to see a Nike release that also coincides with some online retailer releases as well, pretty much on the same day. Very, very seldom that I've seen that happen. One of the last ones I can recall is actually the Gakuso Vaporfly 4% Flyknit, where Sports Shoes had a few pairs of them and Nike launched it via the Sneakers app. That's all the running news for today. If you've got an interesting story that you've seen, let me know on the email down in the description of this video. A musical interlude for you. I recently dug back out this Neil Young album from 1988 called This Notes For You. Neil Young went in a more sort of jazz blues direction on this one. There's one particular track though that's a real favourite of mine. That track is called Coupe de Ville. It's this really, really quiet, sincere, incredibly jazzy number. It's got real atmosphere around it, sort of dripping in atmosphere and reverb. Almost sounds like it could have been used in some sort of detective series, you know, somebody scouting around New York or something, black and white. Perhaps some rain, some fog, misty sort of scenes. It's a fantastic tune and a real departure from some of the other material you'd be used to hearing from Neil Young and Crazy Horse perhaps. There's no distortion here, just some really beefy, jazzy chords. Worth checking out this album just for that track, guys. This note's for you by Neil Young. You probably spotted it in the back there, but I have managed to get myself a pair of the Alpha Fly Next Percent 2. Look out for my review coming up tomorrow. Oh, it doesn't actually smell that good. And before you ask, I didn't pay resale. I managed to get it for the retail price. Somebody had two pairs and one of them didn't fit. Thanks for tuning in. It's always appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when I'll launch the new videos for you. Will you help the channel out too if you give this video a thumbs up like, but also share this video with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you 